Hello everyone, I'm Allison from Gilbert Taping and in today's video I will be giving you my recommendations on what tools to buy if you want to slowly upgrade from fully hand finishing. So if you're a hand finisher, you do everything with your knife, trowel, hawk, pan, whatever, uh, but you haven't tried any of the semi-automatic tools or auto tools yet, this video is for you. So in this video I will try to be giving you more affordable recommendations that will speed up your work enough to pay for themselves only with a job or two. So let's begin! So what I find with hand taping and finishing is that the taping process takes a lot longer and is a lot more time consuming than the finishing. It is easy to get really fast at it, and I'm sure a lot of you are, but it is also the most time consuming part of the process. So what I'd recommend getting is a semi-automatic type of taping, so a banjo would be great, or a semi-automatic taper, also called the ship box. So the banjo would be like a less complex version of the bazooka. You get your tape on this tool, you make it go through there, and then as you put it on the wall, the mud will be there, your tape will be there, and all you have to do after is cut it and then wipe. You can get yourself a banjo for around $160, so if it speeds up your process enough, it is paid for within the first job, easily. <laughs> the semi-automatic taper, also known as the shitbox, is a bit of a different process. So for uh, using that tool, you have to insert it in a bucket of mud and then pull the tape out into a smaller bucket or the bottom of a box and then apply it to the wall. Both of these concepts give you a tape with mud on it already, so it does speed up a lot your process. Uh, the shit box will be a little bit more dirty because you have to do everything with your hands, but my sister and I taped many, many houses using the shit box for years, and I can guarantee you that it's a fast and efficient process, regardless of what some people may say. <laughs> And you can get yourself the semi-auto taper for around $230. Another thing that can be really time consuming when finishing everything by hand is your angles. Having to hit both sides of the angles, one after the other, having to let one side dry and then do the other one the next day can be really time consuming and not everyone has time for that. So what I'd recommend getting to speed up your process is angle tools. So my favorite tools would be the compound tube and flusher. So I'd recommend getting the 32 inch tube. It's a good size, it holds enough mud to do quite a bit of angles, but it is also not so big that you fill it up and it gets super heavy. So you will need the tube and you will also need a corner applicator. This is a head that goes on the end of your tube to apply the mud to the walls. Uh, to then finish your angles, you need a flusher and a handle, so I would recommend using a 3.5 inch flusher to finish your angles, and if you decide you want to flush your tapes as well, I would recommend using a 2.5 inch or a 3 inch flusher for that. So these tools are a little bit more expensive, so it will depend on what your budget is, uh, but they can also be used to tape, so if you decide you don't want to speed up your tape process with the two other tools I told you about and you want to invest in the tube and flushers, uh, you could also get a flat applicator for your tube so you will be able to use that to apply mud on your joints. So that will also be helping you to speed up your taping process as well as finishing your angles. So it's a bit of an investment but I think it's really worth it. The corner tools were the only semi-auto tools uh, we used when we first started taping, and then we had also the shit box and everything else we did by hand, and I think it went really great. <laughs> so if you wanted to get the tube, flusher, and applicators for your flats and your angles, so you can not only tape with it, but finish your angles as well, it would come to around $715. Another tool that's really cheap, so if you don't have a budget at all, but you want to speed up a few things, uh, there is this Richard Corner Mud Applicator. It's $12. You can use it to put mud in your angles to then apply the tape on top of it, and you can also use it to put mud on your beads. So if you are installing your beads by hand, putting the mud on the wall and then the bead on it, 
um, that might speed up your process. You would just use the corner applicator, roll it into your bead to put the mud on them and then put your bead already mudded on the wall and all you have to do is wipe it. And if you're interested in getting any of these tools, you can also get an extra 10% off if you shop on csrbuilding.com with our code Gilbert Taping. I'll make sure everything's listed in the description down below for you to have access to all the links to every single tool I mentioned. And yeah, thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you want more tool recommendations for different purposes, let me know. I'll be happy to recommend what I think is best. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments as well, and we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. Bye!